my God, you guys. No offense, but like literally, hey. <laughs> Uh, I'm Leo, but about me, I'm queer. Okay, I was actually fishing for a gasp, but that's okay. I am queer, I'm also a comedian, yuck. But a lot of the time when people ask me what I do, I actually describe myself as an activist because I genuinely do think they're not gonna check. So... <laughs> So I'm 24, which Forbes magazine recently described as one of the top 25 youngest ages, but <laughs> I feel like it's actually a really mixed blessing to be young right now. I think people are very critical of young people at the moment, so young people these days are all so sensitive, they're all so desperate to play the victim, and I take that extremely personally. <laughs> because I think especially over the past few years, it's been a really hard time to be young. Like, this is gonna make me sound really stupid, and I promise I'm not stupid. I'm actually really clever. Um, Hemingway. And that's just off the top of my head. But, <laughs> but I feel like all the sitcoms I watch, all the sitcoms that I watched as a teenager really made me imagine that like being in my early 20s would involve a lot more like navigating the dating scene in the big city, you know, and a lot less sort of Googling the words death toll. Like, the past few years, my experiences really haven't lived up to that, like, kind of 20-something sitcom fantasy. I've seen every episode of Friends. There's no the one where Phoebe thinks, fuck it, and has a wank with the blinds open. <laughs> Hard time to be young. Hard time to be young. But don't get me wrong, if there are older people here, I'm sure it's also very hard to be old. Must be unbearable. And, <laughs> and it's so easy, right? It's so easy for young people to criticize old people. It's so easy for us to forget that when our grandparents were growing up, there wasn't all this new language and stuff, right? Back then, things were simple, they were clear. You're either a man or a woman. You know, you're either a heterosexual or a faggot demon. It's clear. <laughs> and then suddenly, in the blink of an eye, it's all non binary. It's very confusing. So I just wanted to use this time to think about what older people are going through right now. Um, I read an awful stat recently. There are thousands of people just in Melbourne right now, over the age of 50, and no one is talking about that. <laughs> so I hope this helps you connect with the older people in your life. Tired and alone, <laughs> nowhere to call home, unless you count the gorgeous nine bed Georgian townhouse that you outright own. Your skin starts to sag, you can't get an erection. Nah. The only thing you're fucking is all of us every election. And when you cry, children moan to you you say they don't know real struggle they didn't live through world war ii but neither did you no because you're only 72 so It's too tricky, it's just pottering around the garden. Must suck it to the old, suck to be old. I mean, you might not even live to see the apocalypse that you've all worked so hard on. <laughs> Thanks so much, I've been here right. Good night.